How's everyone doing? I'm back here again for a new video, and in this video I'm going to be talking about my favorite Christmas movies and TV specials. Now that Christmas is right around the corner, you know, it's the first week of December, I thought this was the perfect time to talk about my favorite Christmas movies. But before I get started, I do want to say that I'm not going to talk about any Christmas horror movies in this video, even though there are a few that I really enjoy, like Black Christmas, uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, the horror version of Jack Frost. I do enjoy those, but I'm not going to be talking about them in this video. Also, there are a lot of classic Christmas movies like It's a Wonderful Life or White Christmas or Miracle on 34th Street that I'm not going to be talking about. And the reason why is because I didn't grow up watching those. You know, the movies I'm going to be talking about in this video are movies that I grew up watching, and I didn't grow up watching a lot of the really classic, you know, Christmas films like Holiday Inn. But I do uh, know that they are classics. I do watch them from time to time. I just don't watch them every year. You know, these are movies and TV specials that I really try to watch every year around Christmas time. Um, so yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to start off by talking about my favorite Christmas uh, TV specials, and then I'll move on and talk about my favorite Christmas movies. So the first thing I want to show in this video is... The original Christmas specials uh, collection right here I have on Blu-ray, and this has Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and Frosty the Snowman, and Frosty Returns. Now, I love these. These are, you know, classics that come on every year, you know, around Christmas time. Um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is definitely my favorite, followed by Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and I do really enjoy Frosty the Snowman and Frosty Returns. I also really enjoy uh, The Little Drummer Boy, and How the Grinch Stole Christmas is another... Um, you know, classic animated Christmas special that I absolutely love, and I try to watch all those. Um, you know, it, you know, around this time of year, um, I do plan on getting to uh, hopefully all these, as well as Frosty's Winter Wonderland. That's another one that I really do enjoy, and I do plan on watching that. Um, I do have um, the Little Drummer Boy is not in this set, but I do have another Blu-ray set that does have it, um, and I also have a, a DVD uh, set that has all of them in there, so I do plan on also watching uh, The Little Drummer Boy. I actually don't own uh, the How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I don't own the uh, the, the animated special um, on DVD, um, so I'm hoping to catch that on TV eventually. I do plan on getting that on Blu-ray at some point. Um, I just don't have it right now, so I do hope I'll be able to catch the uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the, the classic animated version um, on TV. But, yeah, I absolutely love, you know, the classic animated specials that are on every year and um, I'm really looking forward to uh, to watching these when it gets closer to Christmas. Another Christmas holiday special that is on every year but I do plan on watching I don't I don't usually watch uh, Christmas holiday specials um, when they air I usually just watch them um, when I whenever I because I, I do own uh, the majority of them on blu-ray or DVD and I don't I don't usually watch them on TV I usually wait and watch them when I have time. Um, or when I, I feel like it, so, but this is another one that comes on every year that I absolutely love, and it is a true classic, a Charlie Brown Christmas, you know, this is just one that you just have to watch every year, um, you know, this is the, uh, cool Target with the, uh, lenticular slipcover, Target exclusive, it also comes with, um, some poster cards as well, um, well not poster cards, but some cards, but, um, yeah, Charlie Brown Christmas is definitely, you know, uh, one that, you know, they play all the time on TV, um, it's just that I just never, um, I, I just never know when they're on, and then when they are on, I'm usually, like, doing something else, um, so I don't get a chance to really watch, um, you know, a lot of the classic Christmas specials on TV, so I usually wait and just watch them on Blu-ray or DVD, um, when I have time, so, um, yeah, Charlie Brown Christmas is definitely another one that I do plan on, you know, really looking forward to watching this, because it's just such a classic. Now, the next, uh, couple of, um... Uh, films I'm going to talk about are sh classic vintage Christmas short films, um, and these are movies that are, you know, some of them are three minutes, you know, five minutes long, and they're really short, and I really, really enjoy these. Um, this first one is the first one that I ever saw when I was a kid, and that is The Night Before Christmas, and this was put out by Castle Films, and they are, and it's, it, well, The Night Before Christmas is is just a retelling of the classic you know, the classic story of Night Before Christmas, just in a film, and they are black and white. Um, some of them are color, but the majority of them are in black and white um, short films, and there are a few of them on there, or on this one, like Night Before Christmas, The First Christmas, The Christmas Visitor, which is in 
uh, an animated film and Santa Claus Punch and Judy. I always enjoy watching this every year. Um, I also enjoy um, Rudolph and Friends, and this is just a um, another adaptation of a uh, the story of Rudolph. But this one, but this one in particular from 1948, I believe. And like I said, they're just two and three minute um, vintage Christmas cartoons um, that I really do enjoy watching. Um, this one has about an hour of classic Christmas, um, you know, vintage, uh, Christmas animated short films, and I really did enjoy watching these. I watch a lot of them, um, you know, in the morning sometimes, like Saturday, like when I first get up, I watch them, and then I start watching, you know, full length of Christmas films, but I really do enjoy these, and, um, you know, I've been wa I watch them every year. All right, and now I'm going to get it to the, uh, the actual films. The first one is one that I actually just finished watching, and that is Gremlins. I absolutely love this movie. It's a childhood uh, favorite of mine. And I actually, even though it is a Christmas movie, when I was a kid, I would watch this movie all the time. Um, I, didn't, I usually didn't wait until Christmas, because even though it does take place on Christmas, it's one movie you can watch, I think, any time of the year. Um, but Gremlins is one of my all-time favorite uh, childhood movies. And um, like I said, I just finished watching it, and I absolutely love the film. The next one is another um, animated film, and it's uh, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, and it's basically just a, 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 a short 60-minute uh, movie um, based on the classic um, song, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, and it's just a really fun. I really enjoy um, this type of animation, and there's also some really nice uh, uh, songs in, in this as well, other than, you know, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, and um, yeah, this is one that I watch every year. Up next, we have The Grinch Stole Christmas. Um, now, I know some people get tired of this movie because they play it all the time on ABC Family, but I never watch it on ABC Family. Um, this one and Elf are actually two ones that I think people get really tired of because they play them all the time on ABC Family. But I never watch them on ABC Family. I always watch them when I have time. And um, I really enjoy this one. And I enjoy Elf as well. I know a lot of people... You know, they always think about the really over-the-top and goofy, you know, scenes with Will Ferrell and Elf. But I enjoy it more for that. I enjoy it for more of the, the heartwarming moments, um, you know, near the end of the movie. Um, but I enjoy this one. And, and Elf is another one that I forgot to grab. I also forgot to grab uh, Christmas Vacation, uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which is another one that I watch every year. This next one is one that, you know, you can argue and say it's, it's also a Halloween movie. I enjoy watching this one around Halloween or Christmas. I did not get a chance to watch this um, around Halloween, so I do hope I'll be able to watch this uh, before Christmas, but The Nightmare Before Christmas. All right. Up next, The Santa Claus, which is, you know, just another childhood favorite. Then we have... a. Uh, I'll Be Home for Christmas with Jonathan Terry Thomas. Really, really enjoyed this movie. I've actually done a full review of this film. This one and the next one I want to talk about as well. Jack Frost. Really enjoy this. And I personally think that uh, both of these right here are pretty underrated. I think more people know about Jack Frost than they do I'll Be Home for Christmas. But I just don't see as many people talk about these. I don't see these played on TV. But I personally think that these are both really, really great movies that I, I, I wish more people uh, knew about. Now this next one um, is one that, you know, there's a lot of really immature jokes in this one, but it's Adam Sanders' Eight Crazy Nights. I do enjoy it, despite there's a lot of really immature uh, jokes in it. Um, there are some really, there is some really great music and songs in this, and um, I, do, I do enjoy this one. And then the next one, Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Put that cookie down! Uh, this is just a really fun one that I always enjoy. I prefer the theatrical version over the extended cut. I just felt that some of the added scenes were kind of unnecessary, and I kind of understood why they were cut out of the movie in the first place. Now, the next one is a is a movie that I think is a new um, Christmas classic, The Polar Express. I absolutely love this movie. Like I said, it is one movie that they play all the time on ABC Family, but I always wait to watch it. Um, on Blu-ray, and I absolutely love this movie. 
And um, my mom and I do plan on watching it. Well, all three of us, my mom and, um, you know, her boyfriend, Mike, we all plan on sitting down and watching this on the big screen right before Christmas because we all love this movie. Now, the next one is, in my opinion, the greatest, probably the greatest Christmas movie of all time. A Christmas Story. I, I absolutely love this movie, and, you know, it is a it is a true classic. And then the last two I want to talk about, Home Alone 1 and 2. Absolutely love these movies. I grew up watching both of these, and, I, and they are very, very special to me. I also really enjoy Home Alone 3 as well. I know a lot of people don't like Home Alone 3, but I love the first three films, and Home Alone 1 and 2 are two of my favorite movies. Home Alone is my favorite movie of all time, and I remember when I was a kid, I would watch these movies all the time, um, you know, uh, every day I would, I would watch these movies, and um, I just absolutely love them, you know, they really, really mean a lot to me, and they are two of my favorite films. So that's it, guys, I know I talked about a lot of movies, um, in this video, um, but these are just, you know, some of my all-time favorite Christmas movies and TV specials that I try to watch every year. Of course, there are other ones that I didn't show, like like Christmas Vacation is one that I, I also love, and Elf is another one that I just forgot to grab. Um, and then, you know, I do enjoy watching, you know, Miracle on 34th Street. I enjoy both the original and the remake. Um, you know, It's a Wonderful Life, White Christmas. I enjoy those as well. I just don't watch those every year. These are ones that I try my best to watch every year. So let me know what you guys think about all the movies that I talked about in this video. And let me know what are your favorite Christmas movies and TV specials. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Anyway, guys, I hope everyone's doing well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.